Hi, I'm Dave from Military Antiques Toronto, and today we're going to be discussing a front seam M1 helmet with a Holly liner. So, this is a front seam helmet. As you can see right there, there's the seam instead of a back seam, which would be late war and post war. More importantly, it's got the fixed bales and post war. 44, well, late 44 and on, they brought in swivel bales because the bales kept breaking because guys were sitting on their helmets. It's a fragile point because it's just tacked, tacked on and it's gone. You can't make out the lot number there. It's not legible, but it's the way I got it. But it is a pretty minty helmet, truthfully, for its age and for how they're really taken care of, really, right? They're not prized possessions. They're, oh, it's my helmet. And they threw it in the bag or in the basement. What's important about this is this is a holly liner, which is really just pressed paper. So a lot of times you find these, they're all messed up totally. There's some remnants of an, a badge on each side. It's the way I got it. I don't know what the badge is. And you can see a stress fracture there. It's start, starting to go, not extremely, but it's enough. But other than that, it's pretty minty. Again, the other badge that was on there, I can't tell you what it is standard wear marks from in and out of the helmet from pressure. So then we look on the inside, it's all nice and minty. Nice chin strap, they're normally gone, they're normally broken off, guys leave them over the uh, front of the helmet and they break. And then we got the back, let's see, I'm not sure if there's a date in there, oh yes there is, what is that, 1945. So. Here you have a Holly helmet, sorry, a Holly liner with an M1 helmet. You don't find them. They're besides the airborne helmets, of course. These are one of the rare helmets and helmet liners. You just don't, they don't turn up. And they're usually beaten up or beaten hell and they're just not around. They've gone up tremendously in the past few years. People have started to realize how rare they are. So you get what you get when you find these. So if you find a minty one, buy it while you can because I can't believe the prices that I paid and I can't believe the prices they're going for now. But it is what it is, supply and demand. So for more items like this, follow me on YouTube and uh, check my website out, militaryantiquestoronto.com. Thanks for looking. Have a nice day.